Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, today we're gonna talk about uh, like some of the questions I get on my Instagrams and uh, TikTok. How do you save enough money for a down payment? Okay, first thing you need to do, man, is like stop buying stuff that you don't need. I think it's simple enough, you know. Like sometimes, like maybe you don't need to buy that like seventh pair of like uh, jeans. I wear the same jeans like probably like a whole year, and then I switch it up to another jean. You know, <laughs> so, I wear the same pair of jeans every day. Yeah, stop buying like dumb. Uh, second is like figuring out like your budget, you know, like how much money does it cost for you to live and pay all the bills. If you like tallied up, like added up all your bills, your rent, like your Starbucks, like your Chick-fil-A, all that stuff. Like how much does it cost like per month, like to live, like your lifestyle. You can like come up with other ways to, to pay for those things. So, like for example, right, if like I figured out that my budget is like 3000 I mean, if I made 3000 a month, I can pretty much live a, a comfortable, like, like good life. Like so I, I found out ways side hustles like i have businesses that will try to pay for the for my expenses you know what i'm saying so that way i can live like free you know what i'm saying and then like you gotta start cutting like some of the toxic people in your life that could be like friends uh some family like some some co-workers like uh i mean sometimes even like old friends you know what i'm saying because i feel like everybody has like three faces you know what i'm saying like one that you show the public one that you show your friends like people that are close to you and then another one that you don't show like anybody like if you just surround yourself with people that like like, like love you for who you are then you'll be straight next thing you should do is uh, you gotta figure out like who you are you know what i'm saying like so if you take away like the things that you do like the, the kind of work that you do take all that stuff away um like who who you really are and like the more i feel like the more you focus on your, your strengths like your gifts the more money you can make as well because like you when you start doing uh things that you like i mean you find ways to make money out of it if the group of people around you they're like uh they're not working or they're not they're not talking about like personal growth like uh investments like just trying to grow Grow, like overall you might want to like look for another crowd yo the next thing you gotta do is like you gotta stop comparing yourself to other people like you see online because uh when you're spending money on vacations that you can't afford you know what i'm saying like you can't can't save enough money to for a down payment on a house i'm not comparing yourself like to like people you see on facebook like instagram all the social medias or whatever because uh maybe i mean nobody's gonna post their best shit, right like they're gonna post all their highlights and maybe they're going on vacation because they had a fight because uh, they haven't gone on vacation for a while or some shit you know so i mean they might be in a bad situation too so it's better not to compare yourself to like people you see online because no nobody's gonna post their their bad shit. so you also want to like invest more too instead of buying things that like kind of go down in value over time you want to buy things that increase or grow over time you know what i'm saying so like stocks like real estate uh, like crypto uh i mean but you know everything's risky but you just got to do your research behind everything that you're investing in uh so you know that you're actually making a good move don't just like throw all your money out there uh but, but expect to lose some money in the beginning because i feel like that's the fastest way to learn Emotional damn like anything you gotta lose some money too and then also like spending money where you can afford to lose it it's almost like play money i feel like a lot of people don't really do that the okay, last thing you need to wor uh, worry about when you're trying to save money for a down payment for a house is uh once you get enough money enough funds for the house say like you're buying a four hundred thousand dollar house you're gonna need around like twenty five thousand or so uh put it into the bank account for at least like three months uh before you want to buy the house so that way whenever you get your loan from the from the lenders uh, they don't look back uh past like three months do all your cash deposit Deposits, like withdrawals and transit uh, like transfers and stuff like right before like three to four months before you want to buy the house just don't put all the, the money for the down payment in that account and like just don't touch it until you qualify to buy the house because if you don't uh, they're gonna ask a lot of questions like when you're when they're trying to finalize your loan and then you might get like declined uh, for the loan because they they're seeing like too many transitions that they can't really source you know so the less you touch it like the better like closer to to buying a house